In this lesson, we're going to be discussing how to write a resume. You have a couple of examples in your uh, Netacad site. Among them is this. There are lots and lots of examples online as well. You also one, one thing to remember about a resume is that the whole goal is to tell about you in a really quick form. It must be one page maximum must fit on one page entirely. When you're as old as me, you know, when Dirt and I were in school, we were told that. But now that I'm older, I actually don't write a resume. I write a similar document called a curriculum vitae, which is multiple pages because I've done so many things. You're young. You're a kid. One page shouldn't be hard. Several components that all resumes have are your name and address. And you'd be surprised how many students leave that out or don't realize they need it. Again, it's proper address form. We've talked about the formatting. With your number, don't put 1530. You just start with 530. And there are certain sections that are true for many resumes. You can change these. You can shift them around a little bit. If a section is completely blank for you, leave it out entirely. Don't say none or blank. That makes you look sloppy. First off, you might have an objective. What are you going to do? There's actually a document uh, in the Netacad site that discusses this. Any job experience you have will go in here. You'll have several volunteer assignments, perhaps. You might have done other things. You might not have any experience at all. That's not, a, that's not unusual, and that's not a problem, provided you don't dwell on it. Don't tell them, I have no experience at all, I'm a dingbat. No, that, think about that. Would you hire a dingbat? They won't either. This experience as listed here should mirror the experiences listed on your job app and in fact they should be the same and should be in the same order. You're putting it twice because that one takes a lot of work to, to find. This one's real quick. So we just have where it is and when you were there certain skills that you've learned in school. What do you know how to do? And the question marks here are supposed to be bullets. Uh, it's very often given as a bulleted item. It doesn't have to be technically, but it's a lot easier to look at just bullets. Notice these are not complete sentences. So just simple, what skills do you know how to do? A lot of stuff from your PDP would count in this. Think about what you've done, not what classes you've taken, but what you've done in them. Education is here. You'll need to list your schools. It is plural because in my class, you're all at Pioneer High School, but you're also in Yolo County ROP. We've talked about that. I've given the addresses on board. It is not absolutely necessary to put the street address and many of you, because you'll be running out of room, will just delete the street addresses to give that one line. Special activities, what kinds of stuff did you do which make you potentially a better employer or employee? What stuff do you know how to do? Things you've done more than once, things which show leadership, things which show that you're a go-getter, things which show that you're not going to do something once and then, oh, I'm done, I'm never going to do this again. If you've been in band for three years, that counts. If you've been in Skills USA for multiple years, especially those of you who have gone with me to state conference a couple of times, you should say that. You'll have other things too. Maybe you have perfect attendance. Maybe you have won awards. Perhaps you won an award at uh, Skills USA Regionals or State Conference. Those medals will, will be here under activities. And then the last line is always done this way. References available on request or upon request. You always say it the same way. And then what many of you have started doing, and this works very well, is you'll take the three references from your job application and you'll type them up on a separate page and you'll have as the title of that page references and then you'll have the complete information for each of your three references. That works really well. 
another in the packet that's in your Netacad site page, you have this. It's a very generic form. Notice that all the brackets just show stuff you would include. Take the brackets themselves out. Take the section out if you don't have it. If you don't have an objective, don't even put the section in for objective. I see that a lot, that I have blank sections. And this one's a little different. Notice that the order is a little different. We have an objective, we have the skills, we have work experience. And notice they've got two jobs listed here. You have education and then you have references. So it's not different information, it's just in a different order. How do you know the right order to put in? Well, first off, there's a lot of right answers, but the easy way is in Word. We've got this in the lab. If you, any word processor will have this if you're using Google Docs. That doc has this or has something very similar. If you're using OpenOffice, it has something similar. I just went to Open. And you're going to say resumes and CV. Remember I mentioned curriculum vitae earlier? We'll just go ahead and use basic resumes, but you can do them for job specific or for situation specific as well. We'll just use basic resumes because that's what you need. And there's a whole bunch, a whole bunch. I like the chronological tr with a traditional design just because I'm a very traditionalist and it's easy. Notice that this is awfully similar. Hmm, we've seen this before. Where have we seen this? Well, the prior example that I showed you a minute ago has this. That's no accident. And all you have to do here is fill in the blanks. If you click on it, you'll type, and there, notice that it took out the brackets. Each of these is, is actually, it's really a nice feature. They've adjusted this in Word. Now, let's say I didn't want an objective, so I'm going to get rid of it. Instead of having this at all, I want to delete the entire section. I don't want to leave it in, and in fact, I want to leave it out if I don't have it. Experience, and Anytime I see a bracket, if I see a bracket in these as I'm grading them, I'm going to look at that and say, I, this student didn't do their work. Um, again, just like with the cover letter, one of the goals is to paper screen you out and deny you the interview, not because they're being mean, although that's a nice side benefit, but because they're, they have too many of these to go through. As you go through your resumes, ask for help. This is what we'll do in class. We'll work on it in class now that you spent the nine minutes or so with this. You can look up online. You're welcome to do any format of your choice. But this is tomorrow in class. Thanks. Good luck.